was on tenterhooks this week, worried that government pensions were going to be used in the latest attempt to save ailing SOEs. Bailing out SAA will be throwing money into an endless pit because the problems of SAA are not only financial but also organizational. The governance structure there is, 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 is no more. The South African economy recorded 0.3% in 2016. Growth for 2017 is expected at 0.5%. Tax revenues are declining as a result of the weak economy and rising unemployment. Gross external debt stood at $58.8 billion in June this year. Even though government seems to be running out of options to find further funding, it says it won't go to the PIC. There's absolutely no truth to the allegations that um, there, there, there is a, a looting campaign out there that uh, seeks to dip dirty hands into the 1.9 trillion rand of uh, the PIC. The client provides us with a mandate that spells out how we should manage our money. And I'm saying this to dispel this myth that we take instructions, investment instructions from national treasury. We don't. And most importantly, the issue of 100 billion on the table, we have not been approached. Kasatu, the largest trade union in the country with close to 2 million members, welcomed the assurance by the Treasury, but warned that it will question its every move. When it comes to the issues of corruption and state capture in this country, uh, you, you, you cannot trust anything that comes from government anymore. So the fact that the minister saw it fit to come out and clarify issues. We are happy to hear that there are no plans to rate PIC, but there's a trust deficit between us and government currently. Kusatu now wants the PIC and appointment of its board to be free from government influence. The PIC is governed by a board of directors appointed by the finance minister. The PIC is, is very strategic when it comes to the economy. So for us, uh, if you fiddle with PIC, the consequences will be felt not just by the public servants who contribute up to 88% of the assets of the PIC, but it will be felt by the economy as a whole. While government has denied plans to loan money from the PIC, it's yet to announce how it plans to come up with the money needed for state-owned entities. Sumitra Nadu, CGTN, Johannesburg.